So as a follow-up to our previous kind of worked example, I, I thought it might be nice to maybe do another removal. So what occurs if this time I do a remove on 20? Go ahead and pause the video and uh, see if you can kind of work that one out on your own. Three, two, one. Okay, so we are still going to do that same approach. We do remove that element. Again, we run into the same concept. We have an underflow. So I need to do, in this case, you notice I happen to have a three node sibling. I need to do a transfer. Now I don't just steal uh, one of my elements. I don't just take 50 uh, and put it over here because that violates a lot of my rules still. So when we say transfer, what's really going to occur is we're going to take sort of our bigger key, the one that we were smaller than, we're going to move that down, we're going to transfer it over, and then we're going to take this key, the smallest of that key, and transfer it up, and it's going to become uh, the new parent. So in this case, uh, like I said, I remove my 20, and I'll leave this blank for a second, I'll put that 15 in there, and I'll draw out my 10, 10 is relatively unfazed through this. It is traumatized by the fact that uh, its sibling was destroyed uh, so haphazardly just to show the world that it could be done. I'm going to leave this blank for a second, and then I'm going to come over and leave this one blank for a second. Well, as we can see, 75 doesn't do much. It's going to, well, we'll start with sort of the beginning. 25 is going to be moved downward to that new slot, that new available slot here where 20 used to be. No, sorry, where 20 used to be. Same regard. Now I'm going to take that 50, the 50 that was over here, and it's going to get moved up and become one of the new parent nodes. Now finally, since 75 is all alone, it's going to move into we'll call it the bigger room, uh, and it gets to be on its side of things as well. 